Oh, hi guys, and welcome back for some more. Let's play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last part, we got the rest of the heart pieces around Hyrule. So now we can finally head to the second to last dungeon. And before we... Nah. Nah, we don't need to do anything before we go there. Actually, take that back. I want to go to a shop first. The shop that we just paid for. A.K.A. the new Molo Mart, which is somewhere around here. Um, and despite what I said about wanting to get all of the uh, golden bugs before heading to this temple. I'm going to do it afterwards. And as much as I don't want to get them, I still need to get them because, you know, I just need to do that for the Cave Trials. But anyways, let's go into this Molo Mart. I didn't show it beforehand when it was all, like, snozzy and... snozzy? That's not the word. Snobby and high class and whatnot. But this place is amazing now that Molo's taken over. As you can see by the fact that his face is everywhere, but here comes some awesome music. Oh yeah! And I love this place, and this is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Because everybody's just standing here, all dancing. Buy it! You know you want it! What do you have to say? If you want one, get one! What do you have to say, humping old lady? Thrust! Thrust! I'll take one! I'll take one! I don't really not want one, but I'll take one by God! What do you want? Sell it! And that's why I love this place. Oh, and there's one old lady. Sell it to me! And this song is japanese horrific. Um, I'm gonna have to head back in here anyways. I'm probably just gonna do it after the next dungeon. But if you look over here on the side, there's this magic armor. And we're gonna need to buy that, but it costs 600 rupees, and I do not have that much right now. And after we buy it, I'm going to spend the rest of... Or my, uh, filling up my wall back up by giving the bugs to Agatha. And then we're still gonna need to get 400 rupees to get our new max after we've given all the Agatha bug thingies, whatever. Uh, I wonder if I can just warp. Uh, too late. Walk to the next screen. Anyways, let's head to the mirror chamber so we can head into the Twilight Realm. I think we can warp from here. Who the hell's gonna see me in this dark alley at night? That cow? I think that's a cow, I can't really look. It won't let you go into first person view while in Hyrule Town. My Castle Town. Hyrule Town? What am I talking about? I played Vindish Cap and now my mind is all wonky. Alright, now! Now, now, now! We can warp to the mirror chamber. Where is it? I forgot. It's over here, right? Mirror chamber! And boy, am I ever happy to have gotten all those hard pieces out of the way. In this next dungeon, we only have two, and then there's none in the final dungeon. So, we will leave this next dungeon with a total of 20 hearts, the fullest amount you can have. So anyways, let's put back these mirror parts we've gotten and assemble the Mirror of Twilight so we can go into the Twilight Realm. Some call our realm a world of shadows, but that makes it sound unpleasant. The twilight there holds a serene beauty. You have seen it in yourself as the sun sets. Bathed in that light, all people were pure and gentle. But things changed once that foul power pervaded the world. It was all our doing. Oh, you dirty sages! We overestimated our abilities as sages and attempted to put an end to Ganondorf's evil magic. I hope you can find it for in your friggin' I haven't had to read in a while. Oh, Twilight Princess. Shocking twist! As if the hints weren't not subtle enough. What? So you knew? Uh, yeah, they totally weren't subtle, Midna. Did you just hear me? We just head to the dungeon now. Fade to black. Does this mean a cutscene? Ah, oh, goddamn it is. As a ruler who fled our people, I'm hardly qualified to forgive you. <laughs> Bitch, please!
Pocket Size Hats, the way of the future. In our world, we've long believed that the hero would appear as a divine beast. That's why when I found you, I thought I could use you, Balls. And I only cared about returning our world to normal. I didn't care what happened to the world of light, not at all. But after witnessing the selfless lengths that Princess Zelda and you have gone to, your sacrifices, I now know, in the bottom of my heart, that I must save this world too. There is no other way. If we can just defeat Zant, the curse on me will dissolve, and we may be able to revive Zelda. Let's go, Balls! For Zelda! For all of this world! Yeah! Power hands! Alright, can we just head off to the temple now? I don't care about the story. I'm sure somebody does, but that's certainly not me. I don't think I've ever actually sat through that cutscene, because I really, really don't care for cutscenes. Magical holographic stairs! And let's enter the Twilight Realm. And this is where the game gets super fun for me. And man, do I love the second last temple thingies. My god. I love the Twilight Realm and I love the dungeon after this. They're both awesome to me. Especially the next one after this. Mainly just because of the music for the second one. But this one's pretty cool too. Uh, spoilers, this does not have a mini boss or a dungeon item. But, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, listen balls, can I ask you one last selfish error? Favor? Whatever. Regardless of what my reasons may have been, I once abandoned this world. I left behind the Twilight. Those considered who had followed me. Those who could uh, what's reading? I'm 12 and what is reading? But if they were to see me as a hideous imp, don't you think they'd feel let down? It'll only be a little bit longer. So she's gonna remain in her shadow because she's ashamed of her imp form, which is why she took that hat in the first place. Alright, so we gotta head off to the right here first. And, uh, wait, this isn't an enemy balls. They may look different, but they're inhabitants of this world. They're my people. Zant, how could he? So Zant has transformed everybody's face into a shield. Uh, as he did with the Twilight Beast that we fought before. I don't understand why he made it into a shield, maybe it's some kind of symbolism. I don't really know. But this dungeon is pretty straightforward, which is why I love it. You go off to the right, and you go straight. You come back from the right, go to the left, and go straight. And that's why I love this dungeon. One thing I'm gonna say, though, is that the boss key in this dungeon is impossible to find unless you know where it is. Thank God I remembered, because I vowed to myself I would never forget, so that I would not have to spend 20 minutes searching. I've had to search on wikis twice playing this game out of the four times I've beat it. So yeah, that's how confusing it is. Oh, I forgot. Oh, and one more thing I should probably do as soon as I clear out all these enemies. Uh, actually, it's probably a better. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll kill this guy without taking damage. I'm just that amazing. Hopefully, where is he? There we go. Uh, hopefully he drops a heart. Because one of the moves I just got in uh, off camera requires you to have full health in order to pull it off. He drops a ruby. Oh, another thing I did pick up off camera, well, on camera, but I ch cut it out, is this rare chew jelly. Uh, it's pretty much like Fairy's Tears, so it replenishes all your health, and uh, it makes you stronger for a little bit. And it's pretty awesome. I found a place in uh, Death Mountain that gives it to you. Which is pretty cool. And now we got a small key so we can go up there and open it up. Oh, the first move that we learned, anyways, is uh, if you press the A button like you're going to do a jump strike, hold it and you'll just do that kind of smacky thingy, you'll hit people around you. It's pretty cool. And if you have full health, uh, it's kind of a useless one. Power up. If I can get a part here, I'll show it. Uh, I'll just grab this five rupees so I can get that out of the way. Uh, let's see. Hopefully there's a heart. No, there's not. Well, anyways, if you do a spin attack while you have full health, it will cover a larger range, and it will also do more damage. It's a nice upgrade, but it's not exactly a, really a valid skill in my opinion. 
I still like it. It's fine, I guess. I'm just kind of disappointing for the final skill. This stuff, this black whatever it is, it's preferred not to touch it, but we're going to have to anyways, so... Wow. No hearts? That's, that's cool. If you just walk into it as a human, it will transform you into a wolf, which is why I suggest going straight in here as a wolf, because you can't really do anything anyways. And that's how we're going to have to take down this giant Zant head. There are a lot of these guys in this dungeon, and they're not that hard, especially if you shield bash their attacks. And this dungeon, again, is pretty straightforward. As you can see, I think we're finishing up with the second room. There should just be, like, a small key in one of these. I don't know which one, but, uh, yeah. And this is kind of like a mini dungeon, I guess, because it's really short. Alright, so there we go with the two chests. Oh, hey, what? What? I, I meant to say hearts, full hearts, but... Of course, as soon as I'm about to blank on whatever I was saying, guys come out and hit me and stop me from transforming into a human and doing my great spin tech. Right, what's in this chest? We gotta open it as a human? That sucks. Well, I'm gonna guess it's the map. It's a compass? They gave me the compass first. Alright. Fine by me. I could really care less. This place is pretty straightforward, so you don't really need a map that much. Yeah, I know. I just explained this to the audience. Shut up, Midna. Alright, and if we open this chest... I guess turn back into a human. I believe the, uh... The heart pieces are pretty straightforward. If I'm not mistaken, they're just some alcoves to the side that you can see. Ah! There's one in the last room, and I totally forgot it. I'm gonna go get that real quick, just to make sure I don't forget it. Because I'd prefer to leave this place with 20 hearts rather than 19, come back here and do the undramatic 20 hearts on something stupid like a piece of heart. And that would make me feel retarded. Wait a minute, I can't just claw shot up there, I forgot! Well, we're gonna have to get it on the way back, as I completely forgot that in this dungeon, you have to uh, get to the end before you can go back up. Which is fine, it makes sense if you know your way around this dungeon and you know what's at the end of it, and... Oh, I do have a small key. Oh, that's good. Uh, is there anything for me to claw shot? Yes, there is. Beans! So, let's head into this next room. I'm again looking for hearts. Please let me show off the great spin game. Please, you gave it to me. I'd like to show it off. Alright, thank you for at least one heart. Now, if we can get another one without me taking damage, I can actually show off the attack. Oh, and by the way, the final boss will be uh, in one entire part, because it is a very long, long final boss sequence in this game, uh, and I'll, I'm just uh, going to upload it on like the 26th of the day I get my stuff back, or maybe it's the 27th. So we've already reached the end of this chamber, and here we technically have a mini-boss bi battle, but not really. And I do kind of like it. It's not bad. Let this be our final battle. So we get a mini boss battle with Hologram Zant, who is actually one of my favorite mini bosses, even though he's not really a mini boss. Even though he is. By this game's definition, he's not a mini boss. But by average video game definition, he is a mini boss. What he does is he, he'll throw balls with tons of enemies, like his first one was just a whole bunch of dark keys, and he'll teleport around and stuff. And when he's about to throw another ball, it's best that you just hit him then. I like him. He's pretty cool. Where is he? Where are you? Oh, you're gonna stop right in front of me? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh god. Perfect. It's best to hit him before he throws that, because if he does throw it, it won't be good. I suggest just targeting around the circles, because when he stops, you'll be able to see him. And he'll just keep teleporting. And again, pretty easy. I don't, he should be dying here within like the next hit or so. Where is he? Ah, uh, okay. Please stop there. Oh, okay, don't. Where are you? Where are you? Oh god! Huh? No, what? My sword went straight through him. This is bullshit. Alright, so we just dropped a whole bunch of Deku Babas. No big deal. Wow, that's audio lag for no reason. At the end of the video, too. Oh god, I'm almost out of time. Come on, Zant. Um, I don't want to have to end this right now. Zant, let me kill you. Dick! You dick! Um, wow, this is going to be the most anticlimactic ending ever. 
See you guys in the next part.